You can see the brainstem and the cerebellum. Children typically have uh, tumors that arise in this location. We still have many unanswered questions when it comes to the diagnosis, the management, and the treatment of children with brain tumors. Unfortunately, to this day, there are far too many children who, who die from this condition, which is why my emphasis has been on the research to try to improve our abilities to treat children with brain tumors. My name is Jim Radka. I'm the chair of the Department of Surgery at the University of Toronto. I'm also a pediatric neurosurgeon at Sick Kids Hospital, and I've been working here for 32 years. Our team is involved in looking after children who have neurosurgical conditions, and one of these conditions is uh, a child with a brain tumor. And so over the years, our treatment of such children has changed enormously due to the progress that we've made in this particular area. And I first started my clinical practice 30 years ago. We were doing big operations, big exposures. There was, you know, considerable challenges for recovery for children just by virtue of the fact that we didn't have the treatments that we now have today. And I can say now, we are using robots and lasers in minimally invasive approaches to help children with brain tumors so that their recoveries are far faster than what they've ever been in the past, that the complication rates are far lower, and that the quality of life is far greater. The uh, research funding from Bunzel in particular has enabled us um, to do pilot projects, to launch new clinical trials, to do high-risk research in no small part thanks to their devotion to this cause. The golf tournament uh, started through Bunzel by virtue of one child and family. Uh, the child was diagnosed with a tumor called medulloblastoma. The child's name was Christopher and uh, sadly, uh, despite our best efforts to help him with surgery, with radiation and chemotherapy, he uh, passed from his condition about two years after diagnosis. Uh, we thought it was just one tumor, but the research work that was done at Sick Kids Hospital led by myself and my colleagues has led to an understanding that this is not a single tumor. In fact, it turns out to be four or more different types of tumors. This has changed the world in terms of how we manage children with medulloblastoma. We don't treat them as one tumor now, we treat them as if they're four different tumors. We're able now to use the strategy of targeting therapy to enable children to live much better, much longer, you know, better quality lives than ever before. The Bunzel Group has been phenomenal at supporting our research these past 20 years and more. Uh, they have allowed us to pursue our research objectives, our research dreams, and we've been highly successful now at moving the needle in terms of better treatments for children with brain tumors. One tangible example, uh, there's a, a tumor that occurs in the brainstem, it's called DIPG, and that's typically a fatal diagnosis. Thankfully, based on the research work that we've done over the last uh, 10 years, in particular the last five years, we've been able to show that the problem with this particular tumor is the fact that we can't get the, the drugs that are needed, the chemotherapy, into the brainstem. So we've developed a novel strategy using MRI-guided focused ultrasound to allow us to penetrate the blood-brain barrier to allow these drugs that are previously blocked from getting into the, the brainstem to get in, to target the uh, tumor directly at site, and hopefully to lead to a, a better prognosis for these children. This is a new clinical trial that we're hoping to launch at SickKids Hospital within the next six months. So I've followed these patients, these children, from the time they were infants all the way through to their adolescence and beyond until they graduate from SickKids. And just the other day, I had an opportunity to look at some handwritten notes that I've received from families who have told me about their journey at SickKids, how they really appreciated all the help and care that they received here. It's fantastic when you can see them up to age 18 and they graduate in good condition and you know you've taken care of them up to this point and you can say goodbye to them knowing that their lives have been altered and changed, they have a whole life ahead of them, and uh, that gives us a tremendous sense of gratification and uh, wonderful achievements that we have at Sick Kids Hospital.